Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and I have a question for you. Do you feel stuck in your home when it comes to getting it in order? If so, this is the video for you. So let's get started. So friends, I want to share with you some tips on how you can get unstuck from the disorganization in your home. If you struggle with not um, being in love with your home, this is definitely something that I hope that I share that can be helpful to you. So friends, my first tip is to make sure that your expectations are not too high. You know, sometimes we're in our home and then we're getting on Pinterest and we're looking at everyone else and we're putting um, their expectations on our space and you definitely don't want to do that and then you want to understand truly what will make you happy in the space and create really realistic expectations because when you create uh, really reasonable expectations it will then make you more able to get out of that mode of being unstuck for example if you go out into your garage and it is a total disaster and you look and you said i got to get this um, organized well that's not really a realistic expectation because it's a lot of work a lot of time and you may already be overwhelmed but if you go and you say you know what i'm going to go in here and i'm going to pull 20 items that i can declutter um, every day over the next 10 days. Well, that's realistic. It's a small bite. You can get it done. And over time, you will see that the bigger picture that you're desiring is getting accomplished. The next tip is to establish goals for your home. You know uh, how it goes. If you don't have a purpose, then really you're just kind of out there and things are not getting done. And so you really want to take time to figure out what is it that I want to really accomplish in my home? And what I like to encourage um, folks to do sometimes is to create a vision board for your home. You know, a lot of times we have a vision board for our life so that it inspires us, so that we stay on track. Well, this is something that you want to definitely do um, specifically for your home. And you, this is something that you can create something that's visual for you. You can put it in your home command center, or this is something that is definitely something that you can simply do on Canva and keep a digital version of it. So that is something important to definitely do. So friends, the next tip is to assess how much time do you really spend on organizing and improving your home. And so that may be one of the things that are keep, that's keeping you in a rut. You're just not investing enough time into this um, art of organization. And so think about the things that you do in your life, such as um, how long are you on YouTube and TikTok? You know, how long are you kind of on the phone with your friends or doing other things. And in thinking, can I carve out less time in those areas to incorporate more time in beautifying and really creating a beautiful haven for myself? And so a lot of times we uh, love that saying of there's not enough hours in the day, but realistically, if you look at those hours, you may be able to intentionally carve out time to help you organize a drawer, get a um, the linen closet um, underway, or just simply do that vision board to get your, your home vision board. So friends, my next tip is to really um, connect with other people that are all about the home. I find that is a great way to stay, stay inspired with your home, a great way to bounce ideas off of um, and, and to stay connected because a lot of times if you're just kind of on the outside looking in at um, Pinterest and different things like that, it can cause you to feel like, oh, my home is not as beautiful or this. And the feelings are ones that you don't want to promote in your space because your home is beautiful. I don't care if it's a box. I don't care if it's a mansion. You know, it's your space. It's your haven. And so by connecting with people who think in the same way or they have the same goals, such as um, home improvement DIYs, you can get great ideas off of each other. You can really inspire each other. You can potentially work on the same projects together. Um, you can switch off coming to each other's home and say, okay, today we organize your kitchen. Tomorrow um, we'll go over to your kitchen. So um, finding like-minded home enthusi enthusiasts is a great way to really get unstuck from your space. A great example is, you know, I was trying to get together my fall tablescape. And so my, my friend Melanie came down and she loves the all things home also. And we really just had a great time going on the hunt for these white pumpkin mugs. It, you know, we bounced ideas off of each other. Um, we looked at, you know, decor items together and it really made the process of beautifying my space 
um, very fun, engaging, and I created a memory with a friend. And so, you know, we want to fall in love with our home. And so we want to really engage in it in a way that when we're organizing or cleaning or decorating, that it's an activity that really is fun for us um, so that we are in love with our space. And you can really see the results when you walk into someone's home, when they um, love their home versus when someone walks into their home and they're just, that's where they just lay their head. Sometimes when you're stuck in your home, it is really good to get away and you will hardly, you, I don't think you've ever had me say, you know, you're better off being away from your home. And what I mean is sometimes if you're sitting at home and you're around clutter or you don't have the, the space um, the way that you want it, you may need a kitchen that needs to be renovated or something like that, it's always good to step away. And so what I recommend is just step away and maybe go to a department store and look at how they're organizing uh, their displays and you can get inspired from that. Um, or go over to your friend who is a home enthusiast uh, too uh, and just kind of talk with her and just kind of have a cup of tea. But, or go for, for a walk, you know, just kind of get out of your space to reflect on your space and to just really give yourself um, that break to get unstuck. Because a lot of times when you're sitting in it, it's hard to think outside of it. And even when you're organizing a space, so say you're sitting at home right now, you're looking around, everything looks a disaster and you're like, I'm just not, I'm stuck. I just don't know what to do. Get up and do one thing. Get up and go to your kitchen, open that drawer, take everything out of that drawer so that you see that clean, empty space, and then just start decluttering the things in it and rebuilding that drawer. Little, 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 little steps really can take you a long way because what you're doing when you do that is you're slowly building motivation. You're sitting on the sofa, you're not motivated. If you get up and make that first step, towards motivation, it just starts growing from there. Friends, the next thing that you can do to get unstuck when it comes to organizing and maintaining your home is to really have gratitude for your space. You know, oftentimes we are always thinking about what's wrong with our home instead of thinking about what's right. The simple fact that we have a roof over our head is what's right, you know. The fact that you have things in your home that if you switched them around, it would give you a whole new perspective of your space. You know, you may be looking at your coffee table and like, oh, I'm so tired of looking at the same thing. It looks dull. It doesn't look magazine worthy. But if you go to your bedroom or you shop your home and you try to move things around, you can give a different look, you can give a different feel, and it really can help you get unstuck in your space. Oftentimes when I'm working with clients, I find that a lot of the things that we need to organize their space is sitting right there in their home. It's just about being creative. If we're organizing a refrigerator, you know, refrigerator, it's not that we have to go uh, to container store and get all of the beautiful fridge bins. It might be simply going in her cabinet and getting a bowl and putting the oranges in a bowl in the fridge. And so there's so many options when we just look around our space and give ourselves a moment to really think it out. Um, because then you can really start to get unstuck because you're not having to spend money and your time is saved because everything is right there in your space. A lot of times why you also can be stuck in your home is because you're too comfortable. And so you come in, you have the same routine every day, you go sit on the sofa and get on TikTok and the next thing you know, it's time to go to bed. And you know, so there, you know, that's where the time has gone. And then you come home again and you're like, I'm tired of the clutter, the mail's on the counter, but then you go back to TikTok and so, because you have that normal routine of being comfortable with that lifestyle, it can cause you to be stuck in your space. And so that's when you have to kind of push the button and make that change. So tell yourself, you know, when I get home from work, instead of getting on TikTok or whatever it is that you do, I'm just using that as an example, say before, I'm, I'm going to sit my bag down and I'm going to spend the next hour cleaning my space before you do anything else. So I always used to do that when we lived in England. I always, I got off work at four o'clock, but I always told myself that I got off work at actually 5.30 and then the evening was mine because what I would do is take the 30 minutes to get home and then that next hour, I would be getting the, my day ready for the next day, cooking dinner and cleaning the house so that at 5.30, my time off is legitimately my time off. I didn't have to do anything for the evening. I took care of home, earlier in the day took care of work, and it really gave me a more balanced life. And so by just tacking on another work hour, considering that cleaning your home is that work hour, and then don't start your evening until after you spend that designated time. And when you come in the door, just don't stop for another 30 minutes to an hour. Another thing that you can do if you are stuck in your home is hire 
a professional and, and get that help. You know, I, I you know, I'm got on this kick now where I'm thinking, you know, help is good. You know, when, you know, by me going out and saying, I need help with this, this is me making a smart decision. And sometimes when you're in your home, you need someone to come in and with new fresh eyes and if you definitely want my help you all know i can i have a professional organizing business i work with folks worldwide um, over zoom and so definitely i'll put the link to that in the description box below if you want to have a session with me so that i can come in your home uh, virtually i will go come through and we will work it out so friends just because you may feel um, trapped in your home or you feel like you're stuck it doesn't mean that you are it just means that you just need to simply get started. And I hope that the tips that I shared with you today gave you some ideas on how you can switch it up. And so, you know, in our space, this is where we come to rejuvenate. So it's important. It's one of the priorities that we really make sure that we don't get in a situation where um, we don't love our home, that we feel overwhelmed by our home, because this is, again, where you come to get your energy to go out into this world. So friends, I hope these tips have helped with um, how you can get unstuck when it comes to maintaining and organizing your space. If you like this video, definitely let me know by clicking that like button. And if you're not a part of the At Home with Nikki family, I would love for you to subscribe. So definitely hit that subscribe button. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you in the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.